We have a meeting to get to. Oh, did you really have to play that song with that trumpet there to wake us up? Yes. Yes, I did. Uh, I hate you so much, Caraman. Thank you. I hate you too, Kazooie. Now, come on. We have a Meet the Cast video to work on. Uh, How were you even playing Megalovania on the trumpet when part of the trumpet was covered up with tissue paper? Oh, simple. I just added the song in as I edit this video. Huh? Before I answer another question, how about you guys get moving before I play Megalovania again? Okay, okay, we're going, we're going. Hey, check it out, Kazooie. He put this box here just for us. Actually, it's not just for you guys. It's for everyone else that's involved in Meet the Cast. Oh, well, that's a very good decision to make there, Care Man. Thanks, Banjo. Just thought it would make my show a little more professional. Even though it's a box and not a table. Okay, how about less whining and more yapping about yourselves? All right, all right, sheesh. So come on, Banjo. Here, I'll sit right here, and I'll sit right here. Hey, uh, Care Man, what? I think the box is a little too tall for me. You think you can give me a chair or something? Ugh, give me a sec. Come with me for just a sec. How about you sit on this? You're gonna make me sit on a Skull Candy headphones box? Look, I'm not making enough money on YouTube to afford a chair, all right? So just work with me here. Fine, but I won't like it. All right, is everyone comfy and ready to go? I sure am, Care Man. No, perfect, on with the show. Hello there, everybody. I'm Banjo. And I'm Kazooie. Now, if I remember correctly, you two are best friends, correct? Yup, sure are. How did you two meet and become friends in the first place? I tried looking up on Google, and not even it knows how you two met. <sighs> the day I met Kazooie. I remember it like it was yesterday. See, it all began after the events of the video game Diddy Kong Racing. After we stopped Wizpig from taking over Timber Island by defeating him in a lot of races. After everything in Timber Island was back to normal, I decided to head back home to Spiral Mountain. But as I was walking home, something fell right in my backpack. And that something was an egg. I then noticed the tree that the egg fell from and I wanted to bring it back. However... That tree was struck by lightning and destroyed it and Kazooie's home. After that happened, I decided to take the egg home with me to protect it. A few hours later, the egg started shaking all over the place. And faster than you could say, go up, the egg started to hatch. And out came Kazooie. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, how did you even come up with my name in the first place, Banjo? Oh, well, it's a funny story, actually. Next day, we were just chilling at home, minding our business, when suddenly, Kazooie came across a kazoo on the floor and decided she wanted to play with it for a little bit. Hey, what you doing with that kazoo over there? <laughs> After seeing her play the kazoo, that's where I got the idea for her name. Hey, I'm gonna call you Kazooie. You like that name? I'll take that as a yes. Gah! And that's how me and Kazooie first met, became the closest of friends, and where Kazooie got her name. Huh, very interesting there, Banjo. Anyway, on to the next question. Hey! What? What's that up there? Oh, dang it, I knew I forgot to do something. Hang on. And... There we go. By the way, remind me I have to say something about that later. Um, okay. Thank you. Anyways. What do you guys like to do in your free time? And what's the best way to describe yourself? Well, I'm one of them kind of guys that likes to sit back, relax, and take a nap. And I like to go on adventures and kick people's butt. And the best way to describe myself? Well, I hear a lot of people say I'm the laid-back, kind-hearted kind of guy, so... Yeah, I think that's a good way to sum me up. And I'm the loudmouth Briegel! Okay, okay. Now on to the next question, and I hope you guys are okay with me asking this, but what happened to you after not- Nope! No! <sighs> Can't stand that game. Nuts and Bolts! Damn, I forgot I had another copy! <sighs> well, after the release of Nuts and Bolts, as well as the negative reviews and backlash, that's when the head of Xbox, Phil Spencer, told us that we wouldn't be used for a while since we weren't... Uh, what was the term he used again? Commercially viable? Yeah, that one. Anywho, after that, that's when Xbox kicked us out and moved us into another building where our home was waiting. Wait, they moved Spiral Mountain to another building that wasn't in the Microsoft building? Yeah. Okay. Microsoft
Microsoft says it's a standby IP building where we wait until we are used again, but in reality, it's a dead IP grave. And then, we waited. Until we were told that we could be used again. Ugh, sorry you guys had to go through all that. But hey, a few years later, they released a Rare Replay on the Xbox One, and that did well. Yeah, not to mention all of us were happy to hear that Microsoft actually remembered us. Unfortunately, it wasn't news of a new Banjo-Kazooie game. True, but you two were invited to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and boy was the entire world happy to hear that. Not just you guys, but us as well. Plus, Microsoft might be considering making a new Banjo-Kazooie game since the whole world was excited for our return! Yeah, that's a good possibility, Kazooie. I'll keep my fingers crossed for that new game. Anyway, we have enough time for one more question. That being... What made you guys want to come here to Toyville and stay? Well, after we were invited to Smash Brothers, that's when me and Kazooie got the idea to come over to Toyville and say hi to our good old friend. And along the way, me and Banjo were thinking about asking one of them if we could stay with them, so that way, we wouldn't be going back to Microsoft! Sure enough, that's when we asked Mario if we could stay with him, and then he said yes. Okay, okay. But, one quick question though. Why did you ask Diddy Kong if you can stay with him and Donkey Kong? Well, we know Diddy Kong is our closest friend, but we didn't want to crowd up in Donkey Kong's house. Plus, their house is a treehouse. And they're normally small, so... Yeah, we would've definitely crowded up the whole place. Well, thank you for answering my questions, Banjo Kazooie. And that's it for this... <clears throat> huh? Aren't you guys were kidding something? Oh yeah, King Heartless! Yeah, you're the guy that revived this before the announcement of Rare Replay. Wait, what before? Why before the announcement? Just so I could prepare them for the announcement, as well as getting them back on their feet. Ah, oh, okay. We're sorry that we forgot to mention you, King Heartless. No, it's fine. I'm used to being forgotten anyways. Ouch! Okay, now you can wrap up your stupid interview. Okay then. Well, thank you guys for answering my questions. Oh, no mention the care, man. And thank you for the interview. Can I go back to bed now? Sure. But first... Hey, wait a minute! Where's SpongeBob? <laughs> Sorry I'm late, guys. Just had to go through that machine thingy to give myself a new look. What do you guys think? Well, SpongeBob, you look awesome! Aw, oh, thanks, buddy! Whoa, SpongeBob looks completely different now! How do you even do that? Well, he used a machine that Plankton and Sid invented that gives you a new look when you go inside it. What? That's a thing in this town now? Yep, remember when Tony used to look like a tiny midget? Well, thanks to the machine, I look like this now. Yep, they're right. In fact, me and Kazooie used that same machine, and look at us now. Holy smokes, you guys are massive now! Yeah, this machine is awesome! In fact, there was another guy with me to use the machine as well! Just for the sake of curiosity, what did this guy look like? Well, he was big, loud, and wore red. Y'all must be talking about me, King DDD. Holy smokes, King DDD. I know, right, Bowser? Hey, do you guys know if this machine you're talking about can fix me? I'm tired of using tape just to get this thing back on me. It probably could there, miss. Oh, no. Is this known to the public? It is now, since I've been yelling all over the place. You what? Uh... By the way, I may or may not have told the world that you do most of the magic. Please, 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 Hey, man, I just remembered something. Didn't you have to say something to the viewers about Patroni? Yes, Kazooie, yes, I did. Hold on, I gotta be professional here. I'm sorry, everybody, but I have to ask you to please escort yourselves out to the door so that way I can make my announcement to the viewers privately. You're welcome. Now that's what I call mood whiplash. Shut your mouth! Finally, I'm alone. So anyways... Remember the Patreon rewards from the video to search for the human? Well, I made a mistake with wearing the first two rewards and I need to elaborate what I meant to say for them before it's too late. The $1 tier was supposed to say, your name will be in the video description of a future video and not your name in the description. Another thing to keep in mind is that not all platforms that YouTube are on will have video descriptions. And the platforms I'm referring to that I can think of at the moment are video game consoles like the Nintendo Switch or the Xbox One X, as well as the TV sticks like Fire Stick and Roku. And the $3 tier was supposed to say, your name will be at the beginning of a future video, and not, your name at the beginning of future video. There's two things I need to note. One, these rewards won't apply to past videos, only on the videos that come out after this one. And two, the payments are monthly, not one time. Before I wrap this up, I want to make it clear that I'm not pushing you to support me on Patreon. You don't have to if you don't want to. I'm only doing this to fix a major error in the wording of my first two tiers. That is all. With all that said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you all in the next one.